your first step is going to be removal of your seat your chrome side panels which just pull off your seat unbolts you have a bolt here and another on the other side side panels obviously just pull off to get uh, the chrome panels pull off these panels three millimeter allen wrench you need to remove that screw there's another screw under the seat following completion of that you are going to be removing the fuel tank So, day two, our discs have finally arrived. We have our nice new modified clutch disc. Uh, one thing we're going to do with this particular R1200C is take the fucking manhole cover off that they call a clutch cover. Look how fucking thick that is. That thing is enormous. We're going to weigh that. We're going to replace that with this whole fuck of a lot lighter one. So, let's get this weighed up. We have our new slave cylinder from Beamer Boneyard. These are made by Magura, same as the OEM BMW one, but I've had much better luck than these with these than I have from BMW. Um, we're gonna run the screws in. We're just gonna we're not gonna install this right now. You're gonna have to put pressure on it. We are going to show you how to change the lines, how to change the sleigh, but we're going to take this off because it's difficult to get the lines on when the frame is attached and the air box is in place. So Sean's going to disconnect those lines and we're also going to add a speed bleeder. I got to tell you, this motorcycle has kicked my fucking ass this week. Uh, everything that could go wrong so far has gone wrong. It's just been one thing after another. It started off with the damn starter pin hanging up the starter. This is the starter dowel pin. It was rusty, corroded, made put removing the starter rather difficult. Then, when it came time to pull the transmission, well, back up. Then we couldn't get the engine stud, the stud that goes through the subframe, the main frame, and the engine. We couldn't get that removed. I had to resort to using an air hammer to break the corrosion free and get the fucking bolt out. Then we got into removing the transmission. The dowel pin that's located on the lower right side of the bell housing was also corroded, and that wouldn't allow us to night easily slide the transmission back so we had to fight and bang and hammer and mess with that as well and bear in mind I'm trying to make a how-to video out of this project how to replace the clutch in an R1200C step by step so that has taken even longer which I expected you know I double the time I'm not charging the customer but I figured it would take double the time because we were filming. 
it's taken triple the time at least because of the extra problems we've run into. So then we're putting this back together and we get to the point where we've got the drive shaft hooked up and we're ready to move the frame forward that last couple of inches to bolt it together and the fucking end of the drive shaft here bumped against the other part of the shaft and prevented the fucking subframe from moving forward. So then we had to resort to removing the rear wheel and the rear drive and taking, getting all of that apart so that we could move this forward. Then, as that's all freed up, we move it forward. We had to fight like hell to get this freaking bolt, through bolt in. And that caused some difficulties. Um, it's been incredible. I'm glad in a way that we've run into all of these difficulties on this how-to video. Um, but man, I, I don't... <laughs> It has sucked the life out of me today. Uh, we're into three days, three separate days of working on this bike, not three days straight, although it feels like it's been three weeks straight. Um, and we're not finishing this today. We are going to make this a roller. We're going to have the rear drive back on. We're going to have the rear wheel on. We're going to have the frame bolted up. And we're going to get this the fuck out of my shop and work on this, I don't know, Maybe to early tomorrow morning. Maybe we get into it for, uh, Monday. We'll see. Um, right now, taking a break. Sean's gone for a little while to a doctor's appointment. Going to have a cocktail, sit back and relax, and uh, decide what we're going to do with this thing, whether we're going to try to finish this up tomorrow morning or put it off till Monday. So that's it. Um, you know, it's life. Nothing ever goes the way you expect, and, uh, and this is a difficult enough job without running into each and every of the worst-case scenario problems that you can get into, but that's what we had, so now it's mimosa time.